Hello viewers, uh, welcome back to the course on scientific computing using MATLAB. So, let us start with the lecture 21. So, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the, the method, the, the direct method. So, that was the Gauss elimination and in that one we have discussed that suppose I have a, a system of a matrix n cross n matrix and this is my system of linear equation and then what we do that we transform the this is the augmented matrix and we transform this matrix into the upper triangular matrix using the Gauss elimination and then using the backward substitution we will solve this system of equation to find the, the solution of this equation. So, in this case uh, and then we have discussed that uh, the system should be so, after that we have discussed what is that partial pivoting. So, partial pivoting we have used to, to reduce our system into diagonal dominant, diagonal dominant matrix. Our system means that the system is deal with the matrix. So, we want to reduce the corresponding matrix into the diagonal dominant matrix. So, once we have a diagonal dominant matrix, then we know that we are always going to have the uh, solution using the Gauss elimination method. So, today after doing this one, so let us uh, we will make the MATLAB code, MATLAB code for Gauss elimination using partial pivoting. using partial pivoting. So, let us go to the uh, MATLAB code. So, this is the program I have made for, for the Gauss elimination method. So, now we already know that how to uh, make the functions. So, let us start with the, the this function that is called the Gauss elimination. So, we have uh, written this the I have given the name of this uh, function as a Gauss E. Gauss E means Gauss elimination. So, I know that in this case I have a system A x equal to B. So, if I have to input the value of A that the matrix and B, then only I will get the value of x. So, in this case I will input the two arguments, one is A that is my matrix and B is the right hand side vector. So, I will input this one. So, this I have written that to solve system A x equal to B input A and B and output will be x. Now, what I do? I turn, once I uh, give the value of A, then I will check the size of A. So, it will give you the number of rows and columns. If in this say, if I say that m is not equal to n, means if the number of row is not equal to the number of column, then my matrix is not a square matrix. And we know that the Gauss elimination method is we, we are dealing with the n cross and means the square matrix. So, in this case we will say that this is not a square matrix. Now, after that I will define the value of x. So, x is a vector. So, in this case I will define a vector zeros n and 1. n means n number of rows with one column. It means using this one I am initiating the vector x with all 0 values and it is a column vector whose length is n. So, it is a basically a matrix of n number of rows and one column. So, it is a column vector. Now, I define a temporary uh, vector c. So, that is also 0, 1 and n plus 1. So, it means in this case I am defining the row vector with all the value 0, 1 row and n plus 1 columns. So, this is why we are doing because we are we have to deal with the augmented matrix and the augmented matrix we know that the size the number of columns uh, increased by 1. So, that is why we are taking n plus 1. Now, I define the augmented matrix. So, here I have written that the display initial augmented matrix. So, this is the augmented matrix. So, I will put the semicolon. So, I uh, define a matrix A u g means is the augmented matrix. So, this is the A matrix and the next column will be B. 
So now I want to do the partial pivoting. So for the partial pivoting what I do, I will start with the P, P means partial pivoting I am doing and I will move from 1 to n minus 1. So here I am finding the first I am finding the this is the augmented matrix I am taking. Okay. So in this case I am finding augmented matrix P to n means in this case first starting with P is equal to 1 to n. So I am going through all the rows and with the first column only because I need to find the uh, maximum element only in the first column in the step 1. So here I am taking all the elements from 1 to n with the first column and then I am finding the absolute value because we want in magnitude and then I am finding the max. So it will give you the maximum value. So, so I am finding this maximum value. So it will give you the vector value. So suppose the maximum value is coming 4 and it is in the second uh, row. So it will give you the value, well will be 4 and j will be 2. So it gives you the value and the location where it is fine, it is getting the maximum value. So from here I will get the well and j because this value I am not going to use. So I just finding that what is the value and j is the. So once I find the value of j then what I do is that augmented matrix so 1 and all columns so I take it to the c. So I just define because here I am defining this one. So that is the temporary place I have defined. So now I am using this temporary place here that P means the first because P is 1 here. So I am taking the P is equal to 1 first row and all the columns. Then I am putting the value C. Now what I do is that I am interchanging the rows with the jth. So I am interchanging the pth row with the jth row. So in this case what I am doing, I am changing my augmented value in the pth row. So P is the row and moving all the columns, it means I am finding the row, pth row. So I am changing this value with the P plus J minus 1 I. So this is the P and J suppose in my case it was suppose 2. So I am finding the value 1 plus 2 minus 1, so 2. Because we are doing here P plus J because uh, with the, with the, as the step will increase then our the size of the matrix will reduce and in that case we have to find out I, we have to keep it p plus j. So I am putting the p plus j minus 1 and all the column vectors. So I am sending all this value in the pth row and then in the pth row I am finding because here I have saved the value of pth row. So I am putting back this value of the pth row in this row. So using this one I have interchanged the rows. And now I am finding that if the augmented value PP means 1 1 is 0 then I will say that okay, this matrix is singular no unique solution is there. Because you know that I am reducing it to the upper triangular matrix and in the upper triangular matrix somewhere if I am finding that the, that the diagonal elements becoming 0 then I will say that this is a a singular matrix and then it will be no solution and it will break that. So after that what I will do? So once I am using this for loop, I am finding the, the diagonal dominancy uh, matrix or I am finding that wherever in the first row or in the first column I am able to find that where is my maximum element I am and I interchange that maximum element with the first row. So after that I want to do the elimination process. So in the elimination process I have to find that what is my multiplier and then so for I again start with the for loop and k is from p plus 1 to n because if p is 1 then I have to start with the elimination from the second row, second, third and onward. So I will start from p plus 1 to n. Then this is my multiplier. So minus the whatever the matrix was there, augmented matrix the k and p. So I will divide by the element where I want to put the, do the elimination divided by first element because if, if I take p is equal to 1 it will be the element p 1 1. So I will divide by this one and multiply by the, 
that number and taking the minus sign. Then what I am doing that I am finding this value k. So, whatever the value k is there. So, p is from 1 to n plus 1. So, I am taking that row the kth row and I am moving all these values from p to n plus 1 the same columns because I have to do all the things in the first column suppose I take the first column. So, in the first column I have to make all the element 0 except the first element. So, in this case my k is 2 and starting from 1 to n plus 1. So, that will uh, give me the value of the column. So, in this case it is equal to the this value the matrix k p, p to n plus 1 plus m that is the multiplier and multiply by the values on the, the previous row which I am using to give the elimination. So, this is the if p is equal to 1 it is the 1 and 1 to n plus 1. So, it is the first row and all the columns. So, I will this is the first row and all the columns I am multiplying by the multiplier and adding to the, the next row where I want to make the element 0. So, it will reduce to the it will give the, mat, uh, the elimination process and then I, this will the end. So, using this one I will make all the elements uh, I will do the elimination process in the pth in the kth row. So, whatever the value of the k is here. Then after that I have written that f print f augmented matrix at the pth step. So, I am putting the pth step and I am printing printing the value of whatever the matrix is there and now this is the end of this for loop. And after that I am finding the applying the back substitution method to get the solution. So, in this case I am calling a function from itself uh, that is called the back substitution. So, what is the back substitution? So, let us uh, see another one. So, I have defined the another function and that is back substitution. So, in the back substitution I know that the matrix should be upper triangular. So, I will get uh, in input the value of the upper triangular matrix and this is the right hand side vector. So, using this one I will find the length of the what is the length of B then I put x is equal to zeros from n 1. So, it is a column vector basically and then I know that the last element x n will be b n divided by u n n because it is going from the from bottom to top. So, first value will be x n I am finding this one and then with the help of this iteration I will find all the values because once I know the value of x n then I will find the value of i from n minus 1 up to 1 with the increment of minus 1. So, it will give you the value of n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 up to 1 and then I will find the value of solution x i. So, that is equal to b i minus u i i plus 1 to n multiply by the previous value whatever the previous value we have found from here and divided by u i i and this is the end of the loop and just to check that whether I, if I run the code my code is going to this function. I generally write like this one. So, it will show you that inside back substitution function. So, it will give you the uh, clearance that okay, you whenever you run the program your function is going to this one. So, after doing this one now I define the main script. So, that main script I write as a linear system. So, it means that using this script I am solving the linear system. So, this I have written that to solve the linear system A x equal to b clear all C L C and then so now I will start with the matrix. So, let us take this matrix and this is the right vector. So, in this case I am starting with the matrix A. So, this is 4 cross 4 matrix. So, 1, 2, 1, 4 that is the first row, 2, 0, 4, 3 second row and this is the third row and that is the fourth row. So, this is the matrix I am entering and right hand side vector is 13, 28, 20 and 6. So, this is the right hand side vector and I am putting dash here it means that it is a column vector. So, I am passing the matrix A and the column vector as the, as the B. Now, after getting this value I am calling my function x 
and goes E A B. So, here I am passing this one and then once I will get the solution from here, then I am displaying that the solution of the gain system is X. So, let us run this one. So, once I run this one, so that is the I am getting the solution. So, initial augmented matrix, so first I have to find the this one. See, so I have made the initial augmented matrix. So, after that I made this semicolon. So, I will remove this semicolon. Now, it will go based on this one. So, it will show the values and okay. So, now I think it will give the value. So, I will save this one and then I will save this one also. So, it is no use. So, this is my value. So, I will rerun the code and that is the value. So, in this case I can see from here that the initial augmented matrix is this one. It means this is my augmented matrix. So, that is my 4 cross 4 is the matrix and this is the right hand side B. So, now after the first step you will see that in this case it will first check that way the maximum element and you can see that 4 is the maximum element. So, first it will change this element to the first row. So, it here you can see that it has changed the values. So, it is interchange this row with this row. So, 4, 2, 2, 1, 20. So, that is the partial pivoting has happened at the step 1. After that it is moving eliminating all the elements in the first column below the first one. So, here it is putting 0, getting 0, 0 and 0. So, that is my first step. So, after the second step, now again you, you can see from here, now it is checking that which one is the largest I values in this below this. So, I will leave the first row now because that is over. Now, I will check the maximum element in the remaining element. Uh, remaining element in the second row. So, second row it is 2.5 the in the fourth row. So, what I will do now? I will swap this one with the this value. So, it will be 2.5, 4.5, 2.75 5 and 18 and 21. So, this one has been changed and now I am making all the element below this one in 0 and this is after the augmented matrix at the third step will be this one. So, this, this and this and then this is my upper triangular matrix. So, based on this one I can say that this is my U. So, the first four columns are the U and this is the right hand side new vector. Now, after that it will go to inside the back substitution function and once based on this one I will give the solution. So, solution is coming 3, minus 1, 4 and 2. So, that is the my solution. So, from here I can say that my solution is 3, minus 1, 4 and 2. So, that is my solution. Now, maybe I can uh, change the system and I will go with the new system. So, this is the matrix I can just comment this one and I can take the another matrix this one. So, the previous matrix has all the values that as an integer, but what will happen if I take the floating point numbers or real numbers. So, I am taking a 3 by 3 matrix now. So, this is my first row it has the value 4.3 minus 3.5 and minus 1.2. So, that is my second row. So, after the semicolon will whatever you write that is the second row and this value is the third row and right hand side vector is this one. So, I will now run this code and this is my value. So, my initial augmented matrix is this one basically that is my system and at the ith step first step 
because in this case only two steps are needed. So, first step will give me this value and the next step will give me this value. So, this is the upper triangular matrix and then I will use the back substitution and that is my value solution. So, in this case you can see that it is giving you first it is doing the partial probating to make the matrix diagonal dominant and then you are able to find that the solution is uh, solution is there using the Gauss elimination method. So, in this case uh, we are able to solve this one. Now, what suppose I take now suppose I take uh, instead of this one. I give you a matrix which is not a square matrix, what will happen? So, let us take a square matrix, no, uh, rectangular matrix. So, I am taking 1, 2, 3 and then 2, 3, 4. So, suppose I take this matrix. So, this matrix is a 2 by 3 matrix and then I am taking my B as 2, 3. So, it is a column vector with 2 elements and let us check what will happen. So, if I run this code, it will go to this one. So, exceeds dimensions. So, in this case index exceeds matrix dimension and the error in this. So, it will show you that the how I can find the maximum values and so in this case first comment is coming A is not a square matrix and then we have written initially. So, if it is not a square matrix because if you know that the matrix is not a square then you have infinite many solution. So, in that case we are unable to use the Gauss elimination method. So, this is uh, how we can uh, deal with this matrix. So, let us uh, change this matrix to some other value and let us see that how we can find the value. So, I just take a another matrix 1.23, 3.45, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5
the third row I am taking 0 0.3 and then it will be 5, 5 and then 2.1. So, suppose I take this one. So, that is the symmetric matrix I am taking and then I will take this 3 by 3 matrix. So, let us run. So, that is my matrix now. Now, you can see that this is symmetric matrix. So, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 5 and then 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 5, 5 this one and right hand side there. So, in this case I start with the augmented matrix and then it gives me this upper triangular matrix and based on this one that is my solution. So, in this case it is a symmetric matrix. So, in the symmetric matrix if you see these are the pivots 2, 4.49 and uh, minus 2.29. So, based on this one I can say that this matrix is a symmetric matrix and its pivots has two positive pivots and one is the negative pivots. So, its eigenvalues are mixed signed. So, its eigenvalue is always pos also positive as well as negative. So, mixed type of eigenvalue it has. So, that we are going to discuss today about that what is the positive definite matrix and this one. So, based on this one we are able to solve any matrix so using the Gauss elimination method. So, in the ne next lecture we will go further about this Gauss elimination method to the other method that is LU decomposition and the other one. So, today we will go uh, we should stop here uh, and maybe in the next lecture we will going to define the other methods. So, thanks for watching. Thanks very much.